Today, I'll show you my unique PvP Blood Mage Assassin build. It's a strength-oriented melee and magic hybrid with spell setups that uses incantations and sorceries. Blood sorceries are totally faith-based making it easy to implement. This is the related staff, it's also faith-dependent and scales well. Concerning other equipment, I love using the Dragon Seal, Katanas, Morning Star and Bloodhound Fang. Your weapon should of course possess blood buildup which is meta in Elden Ring right now. Here are all spells that I currently use. You can combo them in successive order. All spells of sequence 1 will create distance. You'll switch to the staff then and unleash blood sorceries. If they approach you, you can combo into the blood circle easily from blood trails. That way you can gain a good advantage in the start or end the fight safely. Remember yet that blood sorceries consume health. I counter that with bestial vitality or the blessed talisman. Yay! Bloodborne and bloodflies are good for cover defensive, approaching the enemy with a shell, shield. Bestial sling is a no-brainer for combos and the neutral game. I use Raptor of the Mist Ashes, Bloodhound Steph and Finesse for the assassin feeling. However Flame Strike works best to catch opponents if they run away. Best talismans are here in my opinion. Blood Lord Exaltation, Shard of Alex, Great Jar Arsenal and Carrion Crest. These are my stats. I consider making some in-depth analysis of fighting game mechanics applied to Elden Ring. Are you interested in that format? Tell me in the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like share and follow for more Elden Ring content made by a German potato smiley face. Congratulations, you're a bloodbender.